welcome to a new video and my first video of 2019. I'm super psyched to get this year started. The clips you just saw were from Hafjell where me and Elin spent some uh, days in the beginning of the year. And I did a lot of work and some decent training in that epic landscape. So it was a good start of the year and I'm super psyched for what this year will bring. And I have a lot of ambitious goals and I thought I would share some of them with you. But first I will write my goals down, because if you write your goals down, your chances of achieving them increases by 42%. So not writing down your goals is just simply stupid. Now I have written down my goals and I will share some of them with you. By the way, Ellen is doing her yoga session over there. One of my goals uh, for 2019, which is uh, getting my work life more structured and better planned, because it's something I really struggled with during 2019 after I started working for myself. So one of the easy things I will do is just to plan out my weeks on this weekly planner. And today we're at Tuesday and one of the things I'm supposed to do today is to cut my hair because as you probably can see my hair is starting to look pretty bad so let's get to that thing before I can do some more important work. <laughs> So if you watch one of my vlogs from last year when I cut my own hair, uh, <laughs> you know that it ended quite badly then. So I try to take it more careful now. But uh, here's a short clip of it, it was quite funny. Ah, I sort of cut myself. <laughs> it's really dangerous <laughs> to cut your own hair, I guess. My finger, did just start to bleed again? Yeah, so I will try to not uh, hurt myself this time. A lot better at least. Let's see if Elin approves as well. Do you approve of my new haircut? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> no, but sure? really it's nice. Okay. It's really nice. <laughs> Thanks. Now I will sit down for a while and do some video editing for one of my clients. And this brings me to the next point of my list uh, for my goals for 2019. And this goal is about me as a filmmaker and the thing I want to do during 2019 is to create five passion project films. And these films are ideas I've had for quite a while and this year I really want to make them happen. Because these films are some, some films that I really think will be meaningful for you as viewers and it's something I really want to, to create. So I will make sure that I during this year put off time for these passion projects to really make something epic. And I won't share the details about the different ideas with you yet, but uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell to be notified whenever I post something. Because as I said, I have some great ideas for 2019 and I can't wait to start working on them. Now we're heading into Moss because the most important work I have for today is to organize a training for Uko Moss, the club where I will be head coach also during 2019. So it's nice to have a personal driver. <laughs> Ellen, what's your goals for 2019? Uh, you've been bugging me about that for two weeks now. But I'm gonna run my first ultra, hopefully. And I'm gonna finish my master's degree and I'm gonna get a job. Yeah, that sounds like uh, tough, but uh, really good goals. Gravel road on silver promises. So I've just parked at the clubhouse of Ukamos and here I will do the final preparations for before the training. I will print the maps and uh, get everything ready. So my next goal is uh, as my role as both uh, coach and physio and what I will do this year is that every single week I will at least learn one new thing in uh, one of these fields. And so I want to learn more about the body and learn more about training so maybe it's uh, reading the newest research in a field or learning some new exercises. So what I have done this week is that I have learned five new core exercises that are good for runners. So these exercises I will be using on the strength training we have tonight after the orienteering session. 
So, the last goal I will share with you guys is about my own training and development as an athlete and as an orienteering runner. And uh, uh, I got some news, that is that uh, to this season, 2019, I'm switching clubs and I will make a whole new video about this. So I won't uh, spoil what the club I'm shifting to yet, but I'm super excited about this. And in this new club, the obvious goal is the big relays uh, in both Jukola and Tiamila. And my goal is to take a place in the team and not only taking a place, but also really contributing with performing a, a top level run on the leg uh, I get chosen for. To be able to reach uh, both of these goals, the most important thing is that I manage to stay injury free and are able to do consistent training throughout the year. So that's another goal in itself, to stay injury free and uh, be smart with my training, don't take any big risks uh, and slowly build up uh, the volume in my running again. Now everything is sorted for tonight's training, so I will head out and put out the controls and organize the training. So time to get psyched to be as motivational as possible when I organize it. And uh, I will try to film a little bit during the training, so here we have some cool night orienteering clips. And it went great, it's always super fun to coach these uh, youngsters in Okomos. And now it's time for me to head back home and to end this video. I think my next video will be from uh, Alicante and Spain, because in two days I'm traveling there for another work trip with uh, the Swedish national team on their 10 day long camp. So I'm looking forward to that, but until then, as always, thanks for watching, train hard, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.